Hello and welcome. I'm Nathan 42 and in this video, I'm just going to show you how to connect to your Raspberry Pi uh, that's controlling Autoprint for your Prusa 3D printer. Recently, I've had to update the firmware on my Prusa i3 Mark III S, I think, maybe plus, something like that. Um, and there's a way to do it. That is through Octoprint. So if you're looking at your Octoprint like I am here, uh, you do sometimes get the issue with the power or that kind of stuff. You want to make sure that it's set up correctly, essentially. And then you can go into Plugin Manager. And you can go down and you can find... Or you can try and get more. It doesn't like using that for me. So I had to do it a different way. But if you go get more, go to from the plugin repository. You can go on here and you can find different plugins. You can find... Ah, uh, what was it? Firmware. Firmware updater. So this is the firmware updater. All you have to do is you copy this, uh, the URL here. This is from GitHub. Uh, and then you want to go to, where was it? Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, pip. From URL, type that there, click install, and then it will install it from there. Hopefully it will notice that it's actually already installed for me. Yeah, already satisfied. There we go. Sorted. Um, now that goes on there, and that's great. And now what you want to do is you want to get the latest version of the Prusa firmware. So you want to go Prusa firmware. Um, and then it will take you to the download page. Yep, here we go. Now it gives you all the different firmwares. My Prusa is the Mark III S+. Plus. So you click download, downloads it. There you go. You can see I've already done this recently. Uh, now we can close this, we can close this. We've already got the firmware, that's done. Cool, cool, cool. It might need to re-start uh, in order for you to, to actually do anything with this, but w once it's done, you go into here, firmware updater. Uh, and then what you wanna do is you wanna go to, um, actually, this isn't what you wanna do. What you wanna do is you wanna get a program called Putty. Um, now, if you don't have it, you can go to putty, download, <laughs> and then putty.org, you can download putty, download that there, and then that's it. But for me, I've already got it here, you can go putty, I've got it here as well, um, but what you want to do is you want to just type in the URL of your Raspberry Pi, which hopefully you should know by now. Uh, for me, 10, 42, 42, 23, I've kept my printers in the 23 range. So 21 is my normal printer, 22 is my label printer, 23 is my 3D printer. And then eventually if I do get a SLA that's remote or on the Wi-Fi or whatever, I will put that on 24. Open. Now this is trying to connect to that Raspberry Pi. So the default password and username for Raspberry Pis, as you can maybe surmise, would be login as Pi. Raspberry. <clears throat> And then there you go. Now I'm in the Raspberry Pi. Now this is only available over the network that you are connected to. So this is not, <laughs> this isn't actually uh, globally uh, connectable. People outside your network can't connect in as long as you haven't forwarded the port for this. If you have forwarded the port for this, um, well, I, I don't know why you would forward port 20. Free, I think, is what this is. The SSH port, whatever that one is. This was the low 20s, 22 or 23, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, yeah, don't forward that port whatsoever, because that would be very dangerous. <clears throat> now, give people root access to your Raspberry Pi, which can not only cause your printer to explode, maybe not explode, to turn on to the high heat, uh, it gives them root access to it. So if there's a camera on there, they can connect, view the camera, they can install for, uh, malware, which could then propagate its way through your net. You don't want to do that. So don't do that. Um, so what you want to do on here is you want to install... Uh, what was it called again? So on here... AVR dude. So on here, you just want to go... Uh, sudo apt install AVR dude. Enter. Then you type in your Raspberry. Oh, that's very wrong. R S P B E R R Y. 
And then what it does is it will download a VR dude and install it for you. Mine just uh, didn't have to because it's already there. And then what you want to do is you want to go onto the little sp uh, spanner up here. And then you want to go under flash method, AVR dude, 80 mega 2560, path to AVR dude, user bin AVR dude, and then AVR programmer type wiring. You can press test here and it'll say the path is valid. And then what you got to do, uh, make sure you got the correct printer if you have more than one. Uh, I do not. So it's just this one because that's the only one there. Uh, from file, you want to click browse. And then you want to go to the firmware. Uh, it will be a .hex file. Uh, now, just in case you don't... Oh, just in case you don't know, this is a zip file. So the zip file will open up like this. And you'll have the folder inside and it's nice and that. Uh, there's loads of upgrade guides uh, and stuff like that, but you don't need that because I've literally done that for you. Um, you gotta get the .hex file, copy that, paste on your uh, well, or drag it to your desktop or downloads or whatever, wherever you're gonna get gonna get it from. So I drag it to my desktop, should we say? We'll replace the file that's already there because it's already there. Browse, desktop, prusa file. <clears throat> .hex. It's about one megabyte big. And then it will say here, well, oh, actually, I can just do it. It says this, and then it says flash from file. Now you just click flash from file. It will flash the firmware onto your 3D printer. Um, and then it will say done or restart or something like that. It will probably restart once the system restarts because obviously it will power down uh, itself, which might refresh the power to the Raspberry Pi, which will then uh, set it all back up again and it should be good uh, for me that was good there was a prompt on the 3d printer after i had done the firmware update about a um thermal runway check i believe um and it said it could take like 10 minutes or so to do the full test okay that on the printer and then you come back and it's all good um and that is literally it once you've done that you have updated your 3d printer your prusa mine here called mr prusa uh, and that is how you do the update without having to actually unplug the printer, move it to your PC, plug it in, all that kind of stuff. So I hope that helped. If it didn't, or if it did, even better, uh, let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next one.